so hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to explain you about the experiment on charging and discharging of capacitor so we can also find out the dielectric constant so dielectric constant using charging and discharging of capacitor before going to start please if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel for upcoming videos so here you can uh, see the apparatus and the circuit diagram for the charging and discharging within this apparatus so first you must know the components of this apparatus this is the galvanometer which is used to measure current galvanometer uh, is also used to measure voltage in some experiments so here we can measure the current using galvanometer and here is the voltmeter to measure voltage across the charging or discharging of capacitor circuit so here we have the resistances of uh, different values three resistors are given you can use any one among them and here three capacitors are given so you can use among three given capacitors any one of them and here the switch used to take the readings for charging and discharging mode and here is the knob to set the voltage from 0 to 12 volt input voltage and this is power on and off button and here is the switch used to start the device on uh, charging or discharging mode so let us make the connections here so that you must know what actually charging and discharging of a capacitor capacitor if you take it is a it consists of two parallel plates separated by small distance when there is a potential difference across the plates it is going to generate electric field in the dielectric material between the plates its uh, electrical phenomena is going to between the plates when we keep electrically neutral or the dielectric material between them its capacitance is going to increase so the capacitance of the two plates two parallel plate condenser is given by capital c is equal to k into c not divided by d into a where c is the capacitance of the plates and uh, with dielectric material k is what dielectric constant we have to find out here dielectric constant c not is the capacitance of the capacitor without dielectric material d is the distance between the plates a is the area of the plate so in instantaneous voltage across the capacitor when it is in charging mode v charge is equal to v not 1 minus e to the power minus t divided by tau not here tau we call it as a time constant which is equal to resistance into capacitor which uh, values you are selecting the resistance capacitance put the values you will get theoretical time constant you can also find out experimental so for discharging mode the voltage is equal to v naught e to the power minus t divided by tau so at certain interval of time the voltage across uh, the condenser for charging and discharging mode become equal so that is uh, we call t half value so t half value you can in calculate equating these two voltages for charging and discharging mode so you will get the rc equal to minus t half ln 0.5 then capacitance value is equal to 0.693 t half divided by r so once you put this value in this equation the capacitance of the parallel plate condenser you can find out the dielectric constant this is the formula to calculate dielectric constant so that is t half into d divided 0.693 epsilon a into r 
so before going to start let us make the circuit connection here these are the circuit diagrams for charging and discharging mode in charging mode whenever we apply the voltage uh, then the current starts flowing across the ammeter and that is uh, passes through resistor and capacitor voltage is going to increase in charging mode so current is going to decrease here in discharging mode uh, we are just uh, reversing the phenomena in this case current is again decreasing voltage across uh, the voltmeter is also going to decrease in discharging mode in charging mode voltage increases current decreases in discharging mode current decreases voltage also decreases so so connect ammeter positive to the positive of the output and then connect negative to the one end of the resistance negative and then here you should connect output to the input and then according to the arrow mark charging mode and then connect the resistance for one r1 10k so one more connection here so capacitance value any one of them you can select here uh, the connect output of the voltage positive of the voltmeter to the voltmeter and then negative of the voltmeter to the negative so this we have completed the connections okay so i have made the connections here first what you should do you should switch on the power next it must be in the charging mode and then switch on this button you can see the deflection in the galvanometer once you increase the voltage here 0 to 12 volt is there keep the maximum voltage so that capacitor should get charged so let us increase the voltage keep it at maximum voltage so you can see clearly here the deflection in the galvanometer and voltmeter okay so once the capacitor is charging note down the time and uh, also voltage for interval of 5 seconds so when uh, capacitor or the condenser is charging its voltage is going to increase and current is going to decrease so once again i will show you here you should apply the power so that voltage should increase and the current should decrease so you can see it is increasing rapidly and here current also decreasing so here is the tabular column to note down the time and uh, voltage with respect to that time increase 5 uh, second each time interval of 5 second 10 15 up to 60 second you can take and measure the voltage also corresponding voltage for discharging also similarly note down the time and voltage for uh, fi each 5 uh, second increase so up to uh, 60 second nothing but 1 minute you can consider so voltage we have apply, applied at 0 to 12 volt galvanometer has reached the minimum current and voltmeter as we have applied 0 to 12 volt uh, power supply within that range uh, you are going to have the voltage here 
so the for 1 minute or the 60 second uh, the maximum voltage uh, how much it has uh, reached or the charging has uh, taken place you can write down similarly for discharging also with respect to time note down the voltage here i will keep this uh, switch uh, to the discharging mode and uh, here you should observe the decrease in the voltage here you can see here also the current is going to decrease but voltage is also going to decrease here and use the stopwatch to note down the voltage decrease in the voltage so now i am going to keep in the discharging mode so note down the voltage so minimum power supply voltage uh, with respect to time so switch on the stopwatch for each increase of 5 second corresponding voltage you should note down and here also you can observe galvanometer current reading also decreasing so you have to note down quickly the readings voltage and uh, time with respect to time so once completely discharge the capacitor when it has reached the time note down the value so this is how you can perform this uh, be careful because you should quickly note down the readings with respect to time for increase of 5 second once you plot the graph of time versus voltage for charging the curve you can see the exponential curve it is going to increase gradually voltage is going to increase with respect to time for discharging the curve is quite opposite it is going to the voltage is going to decrease with respect to time at certain point that is uh, for a certain time uh, at which the charging and discharging of the condenser or the capacitor become equal that time we call or uh, we take it as a peak uh, time or the t half value okay so with the help of this t half you can calculate the dielectric constant as i have explained the formula to calculate uh, dielectric constant that is t half d divided by 0.693 epsilon a into r put the value of t half calculate uh, the dielectric constant of the uh, from this experiment charging and discharging of the capacitor